being able to be in Harlem and exhibiting here is an absolute honor. It's, um, this city, this town has, it has had so much incredible history and especially art. Um, this is actually my first time in Harlem, so it's wonderful to really, uh, to really see this, this city. And it's also wonderful to be able to show my artwork here, being able to, to see a bit of the community and see a bit of the local people um, come in here and see my artwork and ask me questions. It's, it's an absolute, absolute honor and privilege. And I hear that a young collector spent all her allowance on my piece is it's it's a wonderful feeling, you know. We we think feel as though that the young people, especially in our generation, if they have you know a, a, an amount of money, they're not going to spend it on art. They're going to spend it, you know, on on uh, clothes or you know video games or or something, you know. That's <laughs> I would say I don't want to say more popular, but it's uh, much more expected. Dad and I collect, have started collecting art. I particularly really enjoy Adam's art. I think that it really shows a message about real life and how we should help the people in the world around us. I started collecting about two years ago. Um, I like the idea of collecting from an upcoming artist and also because I did some research. She's a child protege. It would be good to put to my collection of my other pieces of artwork. Really what goes through my mind when I hear other people, other collectors, and tell me their story or tell me that they've uh, collected a piece, it's really wonderful. I love being able to, to come back and meet those people. Um, it's wonderful to know that I, you know, they have a piece of, of something that I created, something you know, that I, I really pour my imagination to, so they're able to, um, to see that every day and, and get joy out of it. These two pieces are actually uh, done with another technique that I developed called pool painting. Uh, it's where I take several colors of paint, um, you know, usually in the same color family, so like warm colors or cool colors, and put it on one side of the canvas. I take a, a long wire and I pull it across. So layer upon layer of that in different colors mixing, it really can create uh, an also cohesive piece. And in this piece, I actually did a combination between the pool painting and the wind painting. You can see kind of the runners coming down here. When young people get to do art, they're like sponges. They just absorb things, and that's what you've done. So if you can become such a game changer, I think that's what I said in my statement. But it's just something that imports them to the next inspiration of life, to the future of the arts, to being, you know, a, a, a contributing individual to the community. And this is the second opportunity we've had this year to showcase <laughs> the unparalleled Autumn de Forest. Um, she, this is, she's being introduced, as far as I'm concerned, to the New York metropolitan area through Harlem. We are going to be auctioning. We donated a piece of art to the Lee Morning Center that Autumn has created, and the proceeds are going 100% to the center. And so I say, let the auction begin. 1,700 going twice. take a picture of their face and we kind of simplify it so it's very easy to you know to paint on a canvas and we project it onto a canvas and each child will come up and they will trace their face. Watch how she's filling in the black. The first thing she did was she went to the first lines that were black and she's filling it in. That's exactly what I'd like you to do. Um, and they will uh, then after that they will create over their face and we've seen as uh, going to schools across the country ages from first graders to to eighth graders to high school, there are some incredible masterpieces by by very young to 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 um, you know third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. We've seen some incredible pieces, pieces that could hang in you know Jean Michel Basquiat Museum and MoMA, and uh, it's fascinating because it's an honor to be able to see you know an epiphany arise in, in their eyes. I see when they start to finish the piece and they see how incredible it's, 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 it's coming out, they say, wow, wow, if I can do this and this looks this good, I really should continue with it. I wonder what I can do with, you know, in, uh, with determination and perseverance. And 
it's wonderful to see that they, they're able to realize that and they, they're able to see, you know, I see a lot of kids saying, I can barely, you know, draw a stick figure and to see what they can really do and they do it themselves, it's really a wonderful thing to watch. Ever since I started painting, I've always felt it was essential to give back. I did a painting and uh, I took it down to the silent auction and I was able to, to auction it off and all the funds were given to the, uh, to the Youth Symphony and I was just, when I was six years old, since then I've done uh, pieces for Hurricane Sandy, for, J for Japan, for Haiti, uh, for the Boston bombings, for uh, the uh, Paris attacks and uh, just recently for the boy in Aleppo. A lot of what I'm doing is what I, I've always wanted to do, what I've dreamed of doing, and very much this is, this is an absolute honor and it's a privilege, and uh, I could never ever see myself wanting to, to stray from this path. And I always want to uh, uh, continue learning and continue in, um, uh, empowering other people to, to, to do the art, so it's, um, it's what I want to do for the rest of my life.